I will share three of my favorite Sudoku tricks that you need to know if you want to solve puzzles faster. And with that, it's solving time. So trick number one, look across here in row eight. You'll notice there's only three empty cells. You need a one, six, and a nine to finish row eight. If you notice, the six and nine both are in the same column as this cell, and the six repeats right here. When you ever have that situation, you can apply my neat naked triple trick. What it means is that this cell has to be a one. The only place that six can go is right here. So this cell has to be a nine. Greetings, friend. I want to thank Persona Sasadri for making this and all the puzzles for my latest rewards puzzle pack. These colored cells transfer over to other puzzles in the pack. So the values here are the same for the other puzzles with red and orange colored cells. So if you get stuck here, you may need to refer to another puzzle. But I'll help you as much as I can using three of my favorite Sudoku tricks. And right now you want to continue by looking for digit restrictions from one to nine. If you look at where the ones can be in this puzzle, you'll notice that with this one cutting across row one, you have a pointing pair of ones right here. So you want to mark these ones since they're in the same column in block one, a one can't be anywhere else in this column outside the block. So one cannot be here anymore. So with these two ones, you now can solve for a one right there in block seven. And then with these ones right here and this one cut across row one, two places for a one here. So you do want to mark when there are two possibilities for a cannon in a three by three block. This helps you find restrictions and some of those tricks I'm going to show you. And so speaking of tricks, let's use trick number one again on column two. You'll notice there are six digits filled out. A one, three, five, six, seven, and an eight. You just need two, four, and a nine. Well, the two and the nine both see this cell. And then the two repeats right here, you can solve all three with the neat naked triple trick. This has to be your four. The only place the two can go is right there, and this is going to be your nine. You want to see that again? Let's do it in block seven. You just need a two, three, and a five. Well, the two sees both of these cells and the five also sees this cell. All these ways are how you can use trick number one. In that situation, this three right here, it's a naked single. It cannot be any other value. And then you just look where the two can be, put that in, and you know the last digit has to be the third or the five. So you did another neat naked triple trick. If you want to see it again, let's go across row nine. One, two, three, four, five, eight. You need a six, seven, and a nine. Well, six and seven, both see this cell. And the six repeats right here, you can solve all three. This has to be your nine. The only place that six can go is right there, and this is going to be your seven. Okay, and so in block nine, now you have two digits remaining a seven and an eight. And this is actually trick number two. Uh, not too hard to spot this because the block has seven cells, but this is a naked pair. And naked pairs, you're gonna need to find these if you want help with this puzzle, especially with figuring out the colored cells. So let's continue on now with the twos and apply tricks one and two as much as possible. No other restrictions with the ones except for right here. With these ones, you can solve for one right there. Okay. Now, let's look at the twos. All right. You can notice that with this two across row five and this two coming up here, two places for a two here in the same column, column eight, that makes them a pointing pair of twos. And then apply that with these twos and you end up with twos restricted to these two cells in block three. Nothing else you can mark with the twos at this time. Look at the threes. And you'll notice you can solve for three here in block eight. And that leaves you with a nice four, nine naked pair. You want to fill those in. It shows a type of restriction. You remove one of these cell values, one of these candidates, and you can solve 
that cell and the other one right away. And then you look here in block four, and you'll notice that you have these two sevens, and this seven right here puts a seven right there, and now you can see what you need is a three and an eight. So the threes and the eights are restricted here in column one. All right, and then you can restrict these two cells now to a six and a nine. So mark those, and these are naked pair one and a four right there. And you don't have to have the ones there anymore because these naked pairs in the same column act as a pointing pair. A lot of progress here, ones, twos, and the threes. Also with the threes, with this three and these two threes, two places for a three here in block three. That's about it with the threes. Now look at the fours. Do not make any marks with the fours. You don't want to mark any spot, like fours can be in these three cells. You don't want to mark with their four, three possibilities or more because it'll clutter up the grid and you want to get these one step restrictions, I call them. So if you solve this cell for other than a three, you can solve for a three right here. That's how it works. Okay, uh, with the fives, no places where you have just two possibilities for fives. So lots of three possibilities. Don't mark those. Move on to the sixes, and you can make a solve here with these sixes. You can solve for a six right there and block two. And then with these two sixes and this six, six right here. So interesting, you know that one of these colored cells has to be a six. That's good information to have for right now. Okay, move on to the sevens. Nothing else with the sixes. Seven is restricted here in block two. And you'll notice that sevens in four spots here. You already marked the sevens here. Move on to the eights. And then with the eights, already marked here in block nine. And then with the nines, you'll see with these three nines, you can mark nines in block three. So a lot of restriction here in block three. And now a tip for you is you want to go back through, focus on heavy houses, because this is where you're going to need trick number two and trick number three. And if you want to solve puzzles harder than you think and help yourself prevent dementia, then you need to join the Smarty Party and get the rest of this pack plus a new one every month. Smarty Party members tell me that they are less forgetful and they problem solve at a level they never thought possible. So join the day by clicking on the pinned comment and you can be a part of a fantastic community of sharp-minded super solvers. It's time to turn your attention on to the colored cells. Talked about heavy houses. So any row, column, or block that has at least five cells filled out, I call a heavy house. Row one has a one, three, five, seven, nine. So all odd digits so you just need a two four six and eight well if you notice that you have a two and a four in column seven and you have a four with the pointing pair of twos here in column eight so what can these two cells be they can only be a six or an eight right they cannot be a two or a four so it's a six eight naked pair and this is huge now you know that one of these has to be a six one has to be an eight and it puts further restriction along row one. The two and the four have to be in those two cells now. Okay, so that's trick number two. The nice naked pair allows you to put two, four in those two cells. Now, trick number three, I love this. Uh, call this the mini X-wing. Some people call it a double row exclusion, but you need it to make the next solve. Notice how the eights are restricted now to these two cells in block three in column seven and eight. Well, the eights are restricted to these two cells in block nine in column seven and eight. What it tells you is an eight has to be here and here or here and here. This is the mini X-wing. Whenever you have four cells in two blocks in the same two rows or columns, you actually are in two rows and two columns, forms a mini X-wing. It means that 
the set, the eights are restricted in columns seven and eight to those two cells. And so eight cannot be in any of these cells anymore. So what you do is you know eight can't be in these three cells in column nine. They can't be in these three cells in column nine. Now you can focus here and know an eight has to be in one of these cells. And since you have a one here and a seven there, this has to be a hidden single eight. It's the only place the eight can go in column nine. And that is my third trick, that mini X-wing. And now that you do this, you want to look at impact, row, column, and block, and see if you can solve these colored cells. So with this eight right here, you'll notice the naked pair, three and the eight, can disambiguate right away. And now you'll see three cells up here in column nine. You have a one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you have two, three, and a four. Well, with these two threes here, this has to be your three. So you can remove the three from right there. And this is going to be a two, four naked pair. Look across row six now. That you saw this eight, what kind of restriction does it put on row six? See if you can use a neat naked triple trick. You got a one, three, four, five, six, seven, and you have two, eight, and a nine. Eight sees these two cells. Two also sees this one. You can solve all three. That has to be a nine. The only place the eight can go is right there, and this is going to be your two. Awesome. So you finish row six with trick number one, and then look across row five. Six cells filled out. You just need, looks like a five, six, and a nine. Six and nine are right there. Nine repeats. Solve all three. That's got to be your five. Only place the nine is going is right there. This is going to be your six. And now you can disambiguate and solve that for six. Finish up that naked pair. Okay, let's finish up block six now. You just have, looks like a three and a five with this three here. There's a three, there's a five. So no need to mark the naked pair if you can solve it right away. And then look in block three. Now that you saw this for a six, you can solve the red cell for an eight, the orange cell for a six. And so you solve these colored cells. You're able to do it logically through this puzzle alone without resorting to the other puzzle. So you can use these values for other puzzles in the pack where you see red and orange cells. But you got to be a smarty party if you want to. You got to be a member if you want to get the rest of this pack. See what else this does because of that eight there. Disambiguate the eight, seven here in block nine. Okay, let's look here in column eight. You notice how you just have the nine marked in one of the two empty cells? So you know that has to be the nine. And this is going to be your seven. Okay, how about column seven? Two empty cells. You need a one and a, looks like a one and a five right there. Can we solve those? Well, you can work with the seven here displace that seven and solve this cell now for seven and you'll see right here you can use neat naked triple trick you need a one four and a five one the five is right there and the five is repeated so this has to be your four only place the five goes right there this is going to be your one you got a four there got a one right there now you can disambiguate the two four right there you can solve the two right there with this four now, you got the nine and the four right here. See how that works. Go from greatest to least restriction. You just need two cells here, five and an eight. Pull that five up. There's your five, there's your eight. Neat naked triple trick to get the two, four, and the nine right here. So I see two and nine right here and nine repeated. This has to be your four. One place the nine goes right there. Your last cell is a two. Now challenge yourself to apply the three tricks you just learned to this next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.